Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to flash the firmware of an echo cycle, this is an echo cycle, to a cube 3 or a cube 3 to an echo cycle. And if you're not familiar with the echo cycle, it is, it is a cube 3. Uh, all the hardware matches, including the, the board inside. Um, however, it uses echo cycle cartridges, which is just PETG. Uh, and, and those, the, the cartridges that 3D Systems were selling had a large portion of, of recycled um, PET soda bottles uh, that went into that. Uh, so there is, you, you can see how many soda bottles um, you've recycled with an Echo Cycle. Um, most users that get their hands on an Echo Cycle are probably going to want to simply convert to a cube 3 and then apply the the hacked firmware use some sort of open source solution which is what i've got set up here i can hook up anything uh and then they're off to the races in short order they're printing pla they're printing abs and, and they're fine and happy other things if they get simplified 3d they can expand a bit um i will say the cube print software for the petg is really good i've struggled with simplify 3d to put together a good profile uh so i honestly i swap to echo cycle when i've got some things that i want to print in petg and i use the oem slicer and it's it's pretty good um with that material type that's actually what i have loaded here uh, this is a clear petg um and uh so i'm going to load this to echo cycle and then I'm gonna I'm gonna print some things I planned with that. So it's it's a very simple process, just like uh, regular firmware update, except you're gonna trick it. So I've got two USB sticks here. One of them has the legitimate firmware, which is gonna the printer's gonna see and accept and begin the process. And then right when it begins to download uh, data, and it's gonna notify, it's gonna say downloading update. You pull it and you swap it with uh, another USB stick that has in this in this instance the echo cycle firmware that's named that has the same name as the cube uh, firmware so the cube this is currently flashed to cube but I'm gonna flash it back to echo cycle so I'm gonna load I'm gonna begin the process of loading the cube 3 firmware here you see cube 114 BAR so it's checking and pretty quickly it's going to flip to downloading and that's where I'm going to pull it. Poof. Oh, says it failed. Ah, I'm going to tell it. Got the other stick in there. I'm going to tell it to retry. And file name the same, but it's actually the Echo firmware. So I'm going to let this run. I'm going to squeeze time out of this and then show you when it's done that it is in fact an echo cycle. You can go echo cycle to cube 3, cube 3 to echo cycle. I've done it numerous times, never had an issue. I've never jumped from echo cycle to modified or hacked version of cube 3, which does not write to the chips, right? So you have a cartridge 98% or lower. Um, it's been initialized. Cube 3 will print and never write to that chip again, so you use it, in, you know, indefinitely. Uh, the, if, you, if, if you're really interested in printing PETG with these printers, and, and there's some good reasons to do it, you're going to need uh, a chip programmer. There's some really good options out there. You need a pretty basic one that just reloads it. Uh, anybody that gets one of these, I recommend they go out to print3dforum.com. They have a wealth of knowledge. It's where the hack, the hacked firmware for this first, uh, first showed up. Uh, there's a hacked version of Cube Pro there, which isn't recommended. Uh, some people had some weird side effects with it. So Cube, Cube Pro or Echo Cycle, you're gonna want a, a chip programmer. Uh, you still use any film that you want, and it's very quick and easy to reload. You don't even need to hook it up to a computer, just a five volt power, so power source. Uh, Click a button, green light means it's, uh, it's fully loaded. 
takes a few seconds. So if, if you want to do PETG, this is a great option. You could pr listen. You you if you keep an eye out, you might land one of these for free. Uh, they're great printers. You might get one for a bargain. I think I got this one shipped to me for like 120 bucks because the person had intended to convert it to Cube 3 and they couldn't figure out how to do this part of it. Um, and, and they were, really weren't interested in doing PETG. Uh, there are some great deals to be had with this printer. I'm going to do some other videos that show you why I think it's such a great bargain. But for now, I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to squeeze some time out of this at the end and just show you that it did in fact convert and it's a very easy process and uh, good luck if you have any questions please uh, leave a comment or, or head out out to the print 3d forum and uh, poke around and say hello there thanks All right, let's see if this is in fact, oops, so it doesn't see the cartridge. That's an ABS cartridge and recycled bottles. Yep, that's EchoCycle. There you go. I could easily go right back doing the same thing in reverse. So uh, good luck, folks. Happy printing.